Hello everybody. Uh, so we'll start talking about Aspen Plus and see um, how can we get started with Aspen Plus. Uh, before we get started, there is a very important thing that we need to keep in mind, um, which is stated in Chapter Two in the um, uh, textbook Process Analysis and Simulation. Um, so we're, we're going to start with with this um, uh, textbook. Um, and and I'm, I'll let you know if, if we are using the other textbook. So um, in in this uh, the first chapter is kind of general uh, discussion about the process simulators. You can take a look at it, but I don't think it's uh, it's gonna be that important for us um, to spend time talking about it. Um, but the, the second chapter is the one that's pretty important. It's very very important to understand the uh, concepts in this in this chapter because it is the base on which we are gonna uh, do all the the work uh, with the simulation. Uh, if if uh, something is wrong with with th this part, then everything we're gonna do later is not gonna be right. So this this chapter talks about the thermodynamic and property models. And to understand what we mean by property models or thermodynamic models, um, you, you must have uh, kind of background uh, about the um, phase equilibrium and the thermodynamics and how uh, we can describe the, uh, uh, the um, components in a system. Um, and how we can describe the effect of the uh, proper or, or the the, um, uh, the uh, parameters like pressure, like volume, temperature, whatever, um, on on the behavior of these uh, um, uh, elements or, or materials. Um, and and here I um, I talk more about uh, liquids and gases. Um, because uh, the, the, this is not going to be uh, uh, easy to describe with the uh, with the normal equations. We know the the easiest and most simple um, uh, description of the gases is the ideal gas law, which states that PV equals nRT, and this is a relation between the number of moles, the volume, the temperature, and the pressure. However, this is not this is not going to be right for for most of the cases because uh, some systems do not <coughs> do not behave ideally. Uh, this is either because the components of the system themselves are not ideal or because the conditions of the system is not ideal. Uh, so so the, what we mean by ideality is that the, uh, the uh, components of the system are uh, or the, 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 um, uh, the atoms or the molecules of the gas or, or whatever uh, element, uh, material we are talking about are very far away from each other. There is no interaction between any of them. Um, and this is what we call by uh, uh, call ideal behavior. However, for for uh, the real cases, you'll have uh, materials that behave uh, non-ideally because they do kind of hydrogen bonding. They they do any kind of bond, and and this bond will make them behave in a different way, which is not ideal. Also, uh, if you have a system that is under high pressure or uh, uh, low temperature, so the the the, uh, um, the atoms or the um, molecules of this gas or, or liquid will not behave ideally. <clears throat> so that's why we need to understand what kind of equations we can use to describe the system correctly. Um, and here he he gives kind of uh, an introduction about the uh, the. Um, um, the system or the the uh, thermodynamic models, and uh, to to make to make the the uh, like long story short, um, we can split the uh, the equations that we can use to describe or the, the thermodynamic or property models as um, it's called in in Aspen Plus. It's called property model. Um, uh, we can split them or uh, put them into two categories. Um, of course, beside the ideal case, uh, the two categories are what we call the equations of state, and the equation of state is an equation that relates the pressure, volume, and temperature. It's like the ideal gas law, and like the Van der Waals law, and like uh, many many laws. Um, the the uh, uh, this is uh, the, or, or the general form what we call the cubic equation of state because it is function of v to the power of three. Um, like Redlish Kong equation of state, um, and this is uh, how the equation is calculated. I'm not going to go into details because we don't need to go into details uh, about the the equation of state. We just need to understand what what is the equation of state. 
there is another equation which is uh, suave ridley Schong. It's, it's, it's uh, another modification, and there is Ping Robinson. It's another equation. They're all cubic equations. So you'll see there is v power 3 um, here, and there is v power 3 here. So, so it's going to be exactly uh, the same concept. You have a, a cubic equation of state. Uh, in general, the cubic equations of state are uh, used for um, hydrocarbon systems. Um, it's, it's more used in, uh, in petroleum uh, components and stuff like that. Um, so if you have uh, a system whose components do not behave uh, non-ideally because of their nature, uh, then uh, and and you're you're working at high pressure then this is going to be the uh, the equation that you need to uh, work with um, there are other equations um, like the activity coefficient models um, and in the in this uh, in this equations it is not uh, a pv uh, t relation um, it uh, depends on the activity coefficient. So the activity coefficient is kind of very uh, famous uh, thermodynamic uh, uh, parameter that describes the um, behavior of mixture. So it's it's mainly used to to um, uh, define the um, deviation from ideality. Um, and if you're if you can calculate the the activity coefficient, then you can um, do a lot of things uh, or understand the uh, behavior of the uh, equations. So, um, again, I'm not going to go into details about this, but this is kind of one of them, which is Van Lahr model. Um, and you'll see that they all, um, they're more complex, of course, than the others. Um, and at the end of the day, you want to calculate the gamma, which is the activity coefficient um, of each component. It's, it's a very complex uh, kind of equation. There is an uh, RTL, which is a non-random two liquids. Um, again, it's one of the most uh, widely used um, um, equations for the activity coefficient model. There is UniQuag, there is UniFac, and there are like other other equations. Uh, these are the general uh, types of equations. There are other uh, models that are used for special systems like the polymers. There are polymeric uh, models, um, and this uh, the, there there are other uh, things like for electrolyte uh, models or electrolytic models. Anyways, um, I'm, uh, I'm not going to go into the details of these. If anyone is interested, you can t t take a look at the book or go uh, and check any um, thermodynamic textbooks. You will find a lot of details about this. Um, and the point which is a concern of us is how can I pick the equation of a state or the therm I mean the thermodynamic model? Uh, because if, if you pick a wrong thermodynamic model, then all the results that you're going to get are not going to be right. In, in some cases, if the, the, the thermodynamic model is, is, not, uh, is not the right model um, and it's going to cause an, an error uh, when dealing with, the, um, with Aspen Plus, then you would get an error message that this model uh, is going to be an, a warning. It's not an error message that this model is not suitable. So uh, this is something that can be kind of helpful when working or picking the uh, thermodynamic model. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, uh, the, the uh, activity coefficient models is we said that for the equation of state, we can use them for um, mainly the um, ideal components that are uh, under non-ideal conditions. But for the uh, activity coefficient models, they are mainly for the non-ideal components like water and ethanol. Uh, they do an azeotrope and the phase diagram is, is very, very non-ideal. Um, other um, uh, mixtures can behave the same way. Um, and, and this is because mainly the, the main cause of the non-ideality in the behavior of the components is that their nature as polar components that make hydrogen bondings and do a lot of interaction between each other that causes uh, this non-ideality. And this in this case, the activity coefficient models is most probably the way or the, the model that you're going to use. Um, so for now, we need to understand how we can pick the thermodynamic model. Um, uh, and here is, there was a very good chart here that um, is, is very helpful actually for, for doing this um, uh, choice. Um, so uh, in, 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 in this book, he suggests that you ask yourself a question or, or a couple of, or, or few questions actually. Um, so you first ask if the system is uh, polar or nonpolar. 
And polar or non-polar, I mean it's ideal, the components are ideal or non-ideal. And this is kind of the, the, uh, uh, the cause of the question. So if uh, you have non-polar components, then um, uh, you would go for, for this way. And if you have polar components, you'll go this way. For the polar components, there are polar which are electrolytes and non-electrolytes. The electrolyte components are the components or the, the, the uh, compounds or, or uh, elements uh, that form ions in a solution. It's like salts, it's like acids, like bases, like water is, is an, well, water is a solvent actually. It's like uh, ethanol, like um, um, alcohols. So um, most of, of, of these uh, things that ionize in solutions are called electrolyte solution. So if you have electrolyte solution, then you would go for electrolyte and uh, or an RTL. Um, uh, and if it's not electrolyte, then we'll see what we're gonna do. For the nonpolar, if, if you have benzene toluene xylene system, for instance, um, then you would go for uh, either real or pseudo and real. Let's go for real. The real is going to give you the three cubic equation of states that we just mentioned before. Uh, for the nonpolar uh, pseudo components, for the pseudo components, it's um, when you, you have a component in your system that is not on um, in the uh, uh, Aspen Plus data bank. We'll go to this in the, in the next videos, but there is a data bank uh, for, for Aspen Plus um, that uh, contains all the elements with all their, or the comp compounds with all their properties. Um, so if you have kind of a mixture of different components or have uh, a new material that's not there that you want to define and what, what we call the pseudo components, then you would, you need to check the pressure. If the pressure is, uh, is vacuum, then you go for this uh, brown K10. And if the pressure is not vacuum or high pressure, then you go for these um, equations. Well. So now for uh, for this part, uh, if you have a non-electrolyte polar mixture, um, then you you need to ask you uh, yourself some questions. If it is polar non-electrolyte, is the pressure high or low? If the pressure is high, then you would go for um, the IJ. IJ, what we call the interaction parameters, which is the uh, parameters that you put in the model to or the thermodynamic model. Um, to uh, describe the interaction between the components. Again, it's kind of thermodynamic thing, so I'm not going to go into details about it now. Um, so if you have the interaction uh, parameters, then you can go for uh, one of these. Um, and if you don't have them, you would go for Pring Robinson or Redlish uh, uh, Kong Swap or whatever. Um, so uh, this is uh, if the pressure is high. If the pressure is low, it's less than uh, 10 bars. You can go for the, again, for the interaction parameters. If you know them, then you check if there is liquid-liquid interaction. If you if there is liquid-liquid interaction, you go for an RTL, Uniquack, and whatever. And if you don't have the liquid-liquid, uh, uh, like two, two liquid phases, <coughs> then you would have Wilson and RTL or Uniquack. If it is uh, you have you know the the uh, you don't uh, you don't know the parameter or if you if you know the the, the parameters and um, there is and it's an electrolyte and there is a liquid liquid uh, interaction then you go for unifac and if not you'll go for unifac and its extension so it's gonna be the same for this just the 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 main figure that I want to uh, or the main point that I want to make it clear for you. For, for this low pressure section, you would see that you have more of UNIFAC or, or the activity coefficient models. For high pressure, you would go more for the cubic equation of state. Again, here for the high, um, no, not this part, uh, for, for the polar, you used to go for the, um, uh, mostly for the activity coefficient models. For the nonpolar, they're mostly cubic equations with state. Of course, there are some exceptions, but in, 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 like in, in general, this is the, the figure that I want to make. Uh, there is one question that um, you might need to ask, and of course, it's important for you to ask, is now I know that, for instance, I have nonpolar real components, and um, uh, I have these three equations. Which one of them should I use? 
uh, and this is a very important question and to answer this question you need to study your problem well there are some differences between these uh, three uh, equations of states and one of them might be more suitable for um, real nonpolar systems than other systems so you have to read more about it you can either search online uh, find other cases that were solved before by people that are similar or you can um, uh, search for uh, or, or use the Aspen Plus help. There is a very good uh, help in Aspen Plus for um, choice of the equation of state. We're going to go to this in the next video, inshallah. But for now, this is uh, the thing that you need to keep in mind. They will give you mostly closed results. Like if you're if you ha if you're choosing one of these three, they're going to give closed results. But if you need to get the, the, the most accurate results, you need to do your homework you need to study your case you need to find which one of them is the most suitable one um, so this is for uh, the choice of the equation of states there is more um, more details here for um, uh, for whoever is interested you can find uh, he's, he's giving uh, some more details um, if you're interested please take a look at it and read it um, it's going to be in pages uh, from 70, 70 to 72 or 73 or something like this. Um, so this is uh, for now. Um, and I, I think I missed something. Um, yeah, I, there is... Um, no, I think we're good. I think we're good now. Um, anyways... So uh, this all for, for today, um, and I'll see you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.